Welcome to the WECS Daily News. We recently spoke with Jack Lank of the United Regional Chamber of Commerce on the newly passed COVID financial relief from the federal government. The state has also released a package of financial relief for businesses. We spoke with Mr. Lank to learn more. Governor Baker and uh, Karen Polito came out with a $668 million relief package for employers here in the state of Massachusetts. Uh, and that is going to give another outlet and another opportunity for the small businesses to get a little bit of relief. Um, it is through the Mass Growth Capital Corporation, um, and you can get all the details at, at a website, www.empoweringsmallbusiness.org, empoweringsmallbusiness.org. And uh, from there, you can get the details of that program, as well as uh, instructions on how to do the application. And it's just another source, another area that uh, small businesses can go after. Uh, they do target, you know, um, the mass one does target a lot of small businesses. They're trying to help out the restaurants, where we all know uh, are struggling probably more than anybody. And especially with the reductions that, uh, you know, the governor has put out down to 25%. Um, and we're just trying to become an information source here at, at the chamber. Um, if you've got a question, if you've got uh, a, an issue, pick up the phone, give us a call. Um, we will probably put you in touch with an, uh, an expert in that particular field. Uh, that's what we're the best at is making connections. Um, but I feel hopeful now that um, we're going to come out of this sooner than later. With the uh, local relief bill that, that is coming out, um, you know, there's some tax credits available uh, that is going to help in the long run, especially because we're getting to the end of the year. And uh, again, this is where I recommend that you talk to your accountants. Uh, the State House is trying to keep as many businesses in the area open. We know that they've put these restrictions on and how many people you can have in to come in at any one time into your retail, retail store or into your restaurant. Uh, you know, how many people that you can have your manufacturing facility. But this is just going to give you uh, some extra financial relief. But there's also some guidelines that the governor has put out that will help try and quell this virus and, you know, keep it out of your business. Uh, the different packages that are available, you just have to take, a, you know, some time to read through them, make sure that you qualify for them. But the money is there. There's millions and millions of dollars out here right now that are available to small businesses. And I know as a small business owner, you know, your time is taken up by trying to keep your doors open, trying to keep your prices straight, you know, keep your suppliers going. Uh, but you need to take the time to an hour. I'll tell you an hour it takes to sit and read through to make sure that you do qualify and then to fill out the application. And again, we're here to help if you need help with that. Well, you know, after we get past this craziness of the virus and enough of the vaccine has been distributed so they have this virus under control, it is time to start to rebuild our small businesses. You know, one of the things that we've tried to help with uh, and, and uh, we put on different webinars and seminars on what to do while your business is closed, some steps that you can take to enhance your business even though you don't have a lot of people coming through. We're going to work with the small businesses, with the state and the federal government uh, to come up with educational programs because things are going to be different. You're not going to have things the way they were in the past back in 2019. Uh, you know, your customer base isn't going to be the same. The way people shop is not going to be the same. So it's kind of a re-education. Um, you know, I hate to use the word pivot because I know somebody in my office here goes crazy when I use that word. But you, you've got to uh, look at things a little differently. Um, you know that old saying, think outside the box. Think of things that you've never done in the past or maybe were a little uncomfortable trying in the past. You may have to try that again because we have to look at this in a whole different light on the way that we are going to service our membership and the way you're going to service your customers and clients.